Yeah, g'day guys. Um, I have to say, this has to be one of the unsafest cars I've ever driven in my life. So I've upgraded to a RAV4, which looks nice, from a, look at this. Look at this, guys. Check this out. This is a brand new car with 60 kilometers on it. The brake pads are, uh, are smoking up. I've got, a, I've got him in the back. I've just come down from Coronet's Peak, dropped two kids off for a hang glide. This has to be one of the most unsafest cars. Do not buy this vehicle, guys. So I upgraded from a Corolla coming back to New Zealand. If you see my previous videos, I rented a Corolla. That Corolla is a Porsche compared to this thing, right? Shame, shame Toyota. This car is a dangerous vehicle. They have not attempted any attempt in distributing the weight of the vehicle properly. As you go around the corners, the whole back of the car starts rolling and tipping. And then when the camber changes, the car just skips across. Now the Corolla did a similar thing to me, but this is dangerous. You can see it here. Why is that brake pad smoking still? And that one's not. Look at the discs. They're too small. I am absolutely horrified at this car. I was coming down the mountain. I was not gunning it. I was sticking to about the speed limit, 70, 50. And I could feel, I thought, why do the brakes feel like they're not going to work? The brakes were fading, so I never had that. The Corolla was brilliant like that. They can take their lane departure control, park assist, and all this stuff, which doesn't even work. Get this, guys. Get this. It's all on, right? Where's the steering control? It doesn't work. I don't care if I'm not doing the right thing. Look, lane departure, steering assist on, sensitivity, sway warning. There's no beeping, nothing. Right? On the Corolla, it went beep, 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 beep. Now, they firmed up the buttons here a little bit from the Corolla, just a little bit, but barely. Okay? The stereo is crap compared to the Corolla. The visibility is a lot better. Um, the cars are, are beautiful. It's beautiful, but the body roll, the braking, and the lack of power, like you pull out in front of a car, you think you're going to get this thing up and going, it doesn't move, there's my call to go, I've got to follow this van to the landing area to see my beautiful children landing, um, and hopefully I'll get it, I'll make it, make it into a YouTube video, this is disgusting. Shame, shame, Toyota. You've done it again. Look at this. Flat to the floor, downhill. All right. Here we go. Now we got going. Now, absolutely. Oh, the lane departure assist is now working. It bipped once. Uh, no, sorry. That's the bag on the thing. Anyway, yeah, absolutely shocking. Do not buy a Toyota of any type. No buy. Do not buy them. I tell people who don't want to spend money on maintenance to buy a Toyota, right? And I've always told them they're unsafe cars. In a crash, Toyotas are always one of the worst. Do you know that? But that's it. Now that I've had this RAV4, look at this thing. Now, I've got synthetic stability. See, the steering's increasing its rate, and I feel like I have control, but I don't have control. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, that's the last time I'll be telling anyone to buy a Toyota. You want to buy a proper car, guys? Buy a Subaru. Uh, and I'll tell you right now, the Hondas are far better cars. So a 2006, 2008 Honda CRV will handle better than this, but it won't have the actual stability systems in place to keep you safe. So. You know, this car's got radar cruise, which works well, okay, uh, it's working now, uh, but as in steering assist and all that, now nah, look, I'll veer over, there it is, where's the, where's the, what, what, it didn't even bip, disgusting, I'm done with Toyota, I'll never even rent one again, look at this guys, ready, look at this thing, so, I had a bit of roll, but the car actually started to move three quarters of a metre that way on its own, okay? This is absolutely shocking. Now, bearing in mind this is a front-wheel drive, it's not a rear-wheel drive. 
Sorry about the yelling, it's very windy. Anyway, shocking. Uh, buy, the Cor I'd buy the Corolla over this any day. This is a disaster. This is a brand new car, okay? I got it with 20, 20 kilometers on it. Um, yeah, really bad. Also, all this is horrible. It's Fujitsu 10, but this is so small. Uh, horrible, absolutely horrible. You can barely see it, you know? But yeah, look, it's all about the styling now, isn't it? And Toyota's managed to cram in the tech to fool you. They've crammed all the technology in to fool you. Do not buy this car unless you live in a 50 zone and you're never going to leave the 50 zone. But on the freeway, no way. Never, ever, ever would you buy this car. It's a lemon. Bye.